Do you guys remember the story of Fidelis Muema, the KPMG bursary specialist who was arrested, I believe it was last month, obviously for swindling 16.1 million rands from the company, okay? So it's currently being alleged that his girlfriends or ex-girlfriends, you know, and also the recent one, the baby mama, are turning state witness and are going to be testifying against him in court, okay? So just to bring you up to speed, basically, if you don't know what's been happening, Happening with the KPMG uh, saga, Fidelis Moema swindled children's bursary funds that were meant to pay for their fees to the value of 16.1 million rands. Okay, so these were obviously funds that were meant to be paid to students between the years of 2021 to 2022. So allegedly, he used this money to maintain his luxurious lifestyle and he paid money into friends, family, and girlfriends' accounts. Allegedly, right? So obviously, he has been arrested. Um, um, for all of this, KPMG has taken him to court. Obviously, it's an auditing firm. So I think he, he should have known that the company was going to get down to the bottom of what he was actually doing with the bursary funds. Nonetheless, he is currently arrested and um, yesterday was his bail application. But there is a breaking story as I've previously mentioned, right? His ex-girlfriends are actually going to be testifying against him in the court of law. And I'm going to be reading from an article by E. W wn.co.za okay so it says the ex-girlfriends of former kpmg bursary specialist fidelis muema have turned into state witnesses against him muema allegedly made 431 fraudulent transactions totaling 16.5 million rand to several companies linked to his friends and his girlfriends okay so these transactions happened between october 2019 and 2022 on thursday muema along with his two co-accused trevor machimana and Lebo Hang Siku. Sikutu, Sikutu, appeared at the Palm Ridge Specialized Commercial Crimes Court for their bail applications. So state prosecutor Valencia Dube said Moema would coerce his girlfriends to open companies in their names. Dube said Moema would divert KPMG bursary funds to these companies and transfer himself the bulk of the money. The prosecutor said all those women have come forward, made statements to the police and are now state witnesses. Okay, And this is what she said. She said the state has a very strong case against accused number one Moema, supported by section 236 um, bank statements de um, depicting the money trail from KPMG and ultimately into his bank account. A bail application on the applicants of Moema and his two co-accused is expected later on Friday. Okay, so that would be today. He's actually appearing in court for his bail application uh, today. I don't know how that's going to go, but I do hope that he gets... Um, denied bail obviously for everything that he's done right so guys from what you could hear from that article obviously it's being stated you know as i've also already said that his ex-girlfriends and i think it's a lot of them right um between 2019 and 2023 are going to be turning into state prosecutors and i'm feeling too ways about this okay firstly i'm very very happy because i think this is teach is going to teach him a lesson about what an idiot you know he allegedly was for doing all of this okay so it's absolutely no secret that uh fidelis muema was living a luxurious lifestyle okay from what i could see trending on social media there were trips to greece um there was a gender reveal that had a helicopter involved you know uh there were luxury cars he bought his ex-girl friend well i don't know if i should say ex because i don't know if those two are in a relationship or not <laughs> but now that she's turning um state state witness i, I doubt they're still in a relationship but let me say his baby mama he bought his baby mama a range rover those cars are expensive guys he literally demolished 16.1 million rands between 2019 and 2020 this year is 2024 and it's a lot of money you know it's a lot of money and obviously i think and i'm not going to speak for all men but some men as soon as they get coined you know they want to they want the slay queens they want the influencers they want these beautiful women and men such as fidelis muema are willing to do anything to sustain their lifestyle so they can have access to the best of the best. And sometimes that includes the best women that life has to offer. Look at him now. 
look at him now i don't know if while he was in a relationship with this um bengu lady i believe his baby mama i do speak under correction i don't know if he didn't know that that relationship was potentially transactional the thing is you cannot access certain women without providing certain benefits to them and i think what fidelis should have asked himself you know if i were not uh, a millionaire swindling funds doing all of these things if i didn't have what i have now would this person still be with me and judging by the fact that she has quickly run to give statements and turn um into a state witness i doubt that she would have been with that man if he had nothing and look at him now and this is why i'm saying that in part i am absolutely happy that these women are coming forward because he really needs to know that he made some bad decisions not only was it a bad decision to steal from students to steal from an auditing firm i mean how smart do you have to be to steal from an auditing firm but he also made bad decisions when it came to love when it came to money and all in the in the name of showing off on social media i remember there were debates that were happening that you know people was where people were saying that if they were swindling money if they were doing illegal activities they would not be posting all of this content on social media but because we all want to show off on social media and say i have this i'm doing that i'm going to greece i'm going where where that is where the pressure comes in to show people that you're living a soft life okay so that's what i'm happy about what i'm not happy about is that it seems as if these women are going to get off scot free for me I would not and I repeat I would I would rather have had that these women were sitting in the dock with um Fedilis Moema because you cannot tell me that you've been in a relationship with someone and he's asking you to open up a bank account in your name he's depositing large amounts of money into that bank account and you're oblivious to the fact that you are actually part of a crime that's going on that's why I wanted these women to be arrested they needed to be made an example out of because you cannot tell me that you're oblivious that you're actually partaking in a crime helping someone to commit a crime makes you part of that crime you're officially an accomplice so you're helping a person to aid in a crime whether all you did was open up a bank account transfer anything that is crime related that you dip your fingers into you are an accomplice and therefore also guilty of that crime to a certain degree allegedly right obviously these people have not yet been found guilty or not we don't know what the statements are we don't know what they said to the police but i would have much i would have much rather had that they were sitting in the dock with fedilis and that they were defending themselves to the law and to the judge and the prosecutors basically that's what i would have wanted but anyways tell me what you think about this ladies and gentlemen also i saw it floating around on social media that this guy Fedilis was actually making about 64,000 big ones. Now 64,000 big ones is a lot of money. To the average South African, you know, I'm not talking to um people who are really really wealthy, but I'm talking about just to the average South African. 64,000 rand is a lot of money to be getting 64,000 rand working for an auditing firm. You're still uh, 32, I believe, 32 years old. You still have a long career ahead of you. You know, you possibly going to get promotional um opportunities and all of these things. It's it literally is just greed and having an evil heart, you know? because sometimes we have to know that greed can only take you so far your heart has to be purely purely evil in my opinion to take money from people who deserve to get an education because you want to flex on social media for certain people but anyways i don't want to ramble too much about this tell me what you think about this in the comment section and i'll see you in my next upload